Hey guys, and welcome to another unboxing, another CGC unboxing, brought to you by me, the Comic Doctor out of Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. I was hoping to bring this episode to you a lot sooner, but my internet went out on Wednesday and Thursday of this last week, and it threw my whole family into anarchy. You don't realize how dependent we have become on the internet when it's no longer there for you. Uh, so anyhow, uh, like I said, I was trying to get this episode out, but because of that, I couldn't. I couldn't even do an, my episode of my weekly episode of What's in the Press. That's going to come next week uh, because now I've already moved on to the next batch. And anyhow. Here we go. We got a box of almost 25 books. I think it might be 25 books. You're very close to it. So let's get started. First, we have the invoices here. I'll get to those. Uh, I'll sort these suckers out later on. The, bo the last box I did is sitting right over there, and I haven't sorted those out. And I really apologize to those customers whose uh, books are in there, but I can guarantee that the full orders aren't back yet anyways. That's why I'm not rushing to get it done. But I will get it done, hopefully in the next day or so. So let's get started, shall we? Enough jibber-jabber. Let's see what we got here. All right. First and foremost, we have a... Copy of Marvel Presents number three in a nine zero. That's a nice looking book. Now, I don't know whose books these are, actually. I haven't even checked the invoices yet. Oh, look at that. Iron Fist 14. First time I'm going to try to get this so I can see the whole the whole cover. There we go. First appearance of whoop, Sabretooth. That's a nice looking book. What else we have? Uh, we've got a Saga of the Swamp Thing 37. First appearance of Mr. Constantine. Moving right along, we have a copy of, oh, Ultimate Fallout number four in a 9-8, no less. Congratulations, sir, whoever you are, because that's a great grade on this one. We all know what this book is now going for, so good on you. And good on me for getting you that grade. ASM 300 in an 8-5, and it is a direct edition. I'll try to get rid of that glare for it. It's always an issue with these lights, guys, is the glare. And then we have another issue of ASM 300. This one in an 8-0. And I believe it's also a direct edition. Yes, it is. Sweet. Okay, next we have a copy of X-Men 94 in an 8-5. I wonder if this is the same book that I had on the show a few uh, unboxings back. Remember where the label was all messed up? This could be it. I think this is it. I'm not 100%. But this might be it. I'll have to check that later. Next we have... Oh, nice. An Action Comics uh, 419. That's a nice looking book in a 9-2. And it's a white pager as well. I'll tell you, I, I, I do not do this book very often. So if this is your book, it's your book. Because you're the only one whose book... <laughs> the only one that's been in in a long time. So if you recognize this book, it's probably yours. All right, what else we have here? We have a Batman 235, nice 1971 awesome cover with Raza Ghoul, I believe. Nice, that uh, first Talia by chance? No, it's a Talia appearance, not, not her first appearance. Okay, what else we have in this box? We have a Shadow number one, it's an Archie publication, an 8.0. That's a nice looking book. Next we have Captain Marvel number one. A white pager, 5.5. We also have a Silver Surfer number one in a 3-0. This book, guys, even in a low grade, have been going up like crazy. I have a 9-0, thank goodness. I almost sold it last year, and I didn't. And I'm glad I didn't because it's keep, it keeps going up and up and up and up. And I like that. Okay, next we have Detective Comics 356. I'll try to move back a little bit so you can see the whole... Awesome cover. That was a swig of water here, guys. Cheers. All right. What do we got now? We have a Hulk 110. 7-0. Awesome cover. And we have another awesome book in an Avengers 89 and a 7-0. I'm going to add a second camera to this show, I think, so I can actually just put the book down and be right in front of the camera so you can see it perfectly. I'm going to work on that for the next show, if I can. And the next one, oh, I love this cover here. This is Marvel uh, feature number one, the first appearance of the Defenders in a 6-0. This book, even in a high grade, is still, still attainable, to be honest. It hasn't gone stupid. It's not a crazy uh, high, high value book yet. So that's one you might want to keep your eye on. If you can find a nice copy, oh, I know what this is. I think I know whose book this is as well. Amazing Spider-Man number one, a van, a annual number one actually, and it's a Canadian edition. You can see at the top 
right there it says Canadian edition and you know it's a Canadian edition because the back cover is completely blank right so when you see this book this copy and has a plain black white cover you know it's a Canadian edition all right next we have uh, Amazing Spider-Man 13 with some color uh, not color touch I don't think I think it has yeah some glue on spine that's a three zeros lower grade book anyhow but still presents quite well actually Okay, next we have uh, Marvel Premiere 15. All right, right there, move it back a little bit for you. And I think this one belongs to Sean at a BC. Sean, if this is yours, not bad, consider what the book was. <laughs> if you look at my Instagram, guys, you can see this book, uh, the before and afters. It was pretty, pretty rough. So I'm actually quite happy with the 5.5. Five. A 6 would have been nice. 6 would have been nicer, but, you know, hey, what the heck. Oh, look at this, another uh, ASM 300 guys these are coming in like like lots we got I guess I see lots of this book now there are lots of these books out there and this one here as you can see is the newsstand edition nice copy to 9.2 did not turn my email notifications off I apologize what else we have here oh a tomb of Dracula number 10 and that's in a 9.2 that's an awesome grade look at that a beautiful copy very nice copy okay Ow. Ow, they pack them in there good boy. Fantastic four number 49 <clears throat> and an 8.5. That's a nice grade in this one. That's pretty cool. Got another swig of water here, guys. Hot in here. All right, next we have an Avengers number two and a 6.5. That's a nice grade for such a an epic book. That's awesome. And last but certainly not least, a giant size X Men one in a whoops, let me fix that up here, guys, and a five zero. And there's a bit of color touch on this one, so it garnered a restored grade of five point zero. There you go, some nice books. Again, I have another box on its way, like as we speak. It's probably <laughs> customs right now, and I'll probably get it on Monday. I'll try to do an unboxing on Tuesday or Wednesday. Keep your eye out for uh, another edition of What's in the Press. Probably, again, Monday or Tuesday. <clears throat> if I have time, maybe tomorrow on Sunday. But you know what you can do? Hit that notification bell down there. When you hit the notification bell, when I upload a video, you'll be the first to know. And remember, guys, if you leave a comment on this video, and you have to subscribe too, of course, when you leave a comment on this video, you increase your chances of winning some free pressing by me, the comic doctor, and grading by CGC. So, hey, hit like, hit subscribe, and leave a comment. I want you to win. Well, not all of you, but, well, one of you right now, and then we'll do another draw later. But anyways, when I hit 600 subscribers, I'm going to be choosing one lucky person to get some free grading and some free pressing. Okay, guys, that's it for me. So until next time, keep on collecting them comic books, keep on reading them comic books, and take care of yourselves. Bye now.